Welcome back everyone. It is 846 on our Wednesday morning and not all of us are the best swimmers, right? And the same applies to turtles too. We brought you the story earlier in the week of a loggerhead sea turtle named Sapphire who needed some assistance and ended up getting a custom made wetsuit to help her swim. This morning, animal care specialist Ayana Reisman joins us from Sapphire's home at the Living Coast Discovery Center in Chula Vista to share the unique therapy that is helping her out. Good morning, Ayana. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So I want to start off by letting you kind of explain uh, Sapphire's backstory, how she uh, came to you guys in Chula Vista and uh, what happened to her, that accident that happened to her. Yeah, so Sapphire is a rescued loggerhead sea turtle, and she's actually from the Florida coast in the Sapphire Keys. And she was brought in by the Sea Turtle Hospital after being found with injuries consistent with a couple of boat strikes, actually, on two separate occasions. And after the second boat strike, her injuries were so severe that she was deemed non-releasable uh, due to some of the injuries that she had sustained. So they began to explore different options for finding a home for her. And when we heard, we said, we'd love to have her here so she can be an ambassador for her species and be able to teach some of the locals here about sea turtles and some of the ways that we're able to conserve their wild counterparts too. And originally the idea was to, to put these weights on her because she was surprisingly buoyant, right? So they put these weights on her and, and they, you guys realized that she would sometimes maybe shift to one side, the left or the right. Tell us how this, this wetsuit idea came to be. Who did you guys team up with and, and how does the wetsuit work? Yeah, so you might be able to see it. Uh, and for those of you who are familiar with Sapphire, she does have those three weights on the back of her shell. And as Taryn is feeding her right now, we'll see that buoyancy change as she goes deeper into the pool, comes up for a breath of air, and as she eats as well. So when we started to see those changes in her buoyancy in April of last year, it started to impact her ability to eat and to come up for that breath of air, and of course, to sleep down towards the bottom. So we thought about attaching new weights, but because of how often that buoyancy was shifting and changing, we needed to do something that was a little bit more flexible for her. So we thought of a uh, neoprene wetsuit, similar to what you'd wear if you go diving, made of the same material, but it's able to attach around her shell and around the, the tops of her shoulders there. And we have little pockets where we can put in these weights to adjust her buoyancy or adjust how she's floating in the water as she needs to, so that she's able to more comfortably move around her environment. And we were able to work with O'Neill, uh, the wetsuit company up in Santa Cruz. We reached out to them when we needed a little bit of extra support and ideas. Um, and they provided us with the materials and a final product for Sapphire as well. I love that. And it's similar to how scuba divers, for example, would have weights on them when they're going into the water. Um, and hey, Sapphire needs a little help along the way too. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Living Coast and uh, what the last year has been like. I know you guys have been closed during the pandemic. Uh, what's been going on with you guys? Yeah, so we're a nonprofit and we're focused on the native wildlife that we can find right here in San Diego. So all of these species uh, are different animals that we can find either off our coast here in San Diego Bay or out in the Pacific as well. And with the pandemic, we did close to the public, but of course we are still here caring for all of the animals that are, that are with us. And we're hoping to be able to open up soon once things are a little bit safer, where, when we can uh, welcome guests back to visit with all of the animals again. But right. that's for what us, we were thinking it's too. More so important to just make sure everyone's comfortable and healthy while they're here with us. Yeah, we're hoping that you guys can open up maybe in the summertime is what it seemed like would be the time frame. Um, but of course, as you mentioned, still there taking care of those animals, uh, including Sapphire, who now has that custom made wetsuit. Uh, thank you, Ayana, for joining us this morning. And uh, thank you to everyone, all the, the whole team there uh, in Chula Vista for uh, keeping those animals healthy and safe. Uh, it is a, a really cool story there to see how the scuba divers. Uh, follow a similar kind of idea. They're able to uh, adjust the weight that they have on them to stay buoyant. And uh, now Sapphire can do the same thing. Thanks to you guys and O'Neill. So again, thanks for being with us. I'll send these back to you, Netta and Eric. Thank you.